Hey everybody, what's up? It's Apple 2 Apps Reviewer here, and in this video I'm going to be showcasing the best photography apps for your Mac, and I'm going to be showcasing three apps, with each app having a different approach to photography, but having many similarities. So all of these apps will cost money, and none of them are free, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. The first application we will be taking a look at is called Flare. And Flare will cost $9.99 in the App Store. So once you open up Flare, you will be able to simply drag an image or go to the top left and open a, an image. But I'm just going to go open up a recent image. And once you have your image, you could go to the Presets tab. And there are 30 different presets that you will be able to choose from. So once you scroll down and find a preset that you would like to use, just simply go ahead and click on it. And you will be able to go to the Edits tab now for more further in-depth editing so at the very top right of your screen you will it will say add effect and you have three different categories from color effects to lens effects as well as creative effects so once you click on a certain category you'll be able to see different about around 10 different types of effects in each category and once you click on an effect you will have a slider and you could simply decrease or increase the amount of that of that one effect if you do not want an effect, you could go ahead and simply just uncheck the box and it will undo that effect. Once again, you have sliders so you can decrease and increase the certain effect. If you want to save the image and use it for later, you, see, you could go ahead and save to snapshots. And what snapshots allows you to do is um, to save it and you will be able to use it for further use in case you need to go run an errand. So. Once you are happy with your photo, you could go down here and look at the original as well as the process photo. And once you are done, you will be able to go and save it or export. So you could save the image to a file, to Flickr, to iPhoto, or you can send through an email. So I'm just going to go ahead and save it to a file and name this test. And you will be able to choose where you want to save it, the pixels and the file format. I'm going to save it to the 100% quality. So once I'm done, it will render, render the final image and it will save it to its destination. So this is Flare from Mac available for $9.99 in the App Store. It's a really nice app, so go ahead and check it out. So without further ado, let's go ahead and go to the next application. Next application is called Color Splash Studio, and this application will cost $1.99 in the Mac App Store. And make sure to get this application before it does return to its original price, which is $9.99. So this application is really nice. It's a really nice, powerful comprehensive and intuitive application to make some outstanding pictures so once you open it up you'll be able to load an image import an image open up a recent image or just simply drag and drop i'm going to be open i'm going to be opening this recent image so once you open up an image it will automatically turn it into grayscale so going up at the top you find a few toolbars and pre a few tools and preferences you'll have the ability to import load photo save share Undo, redo, and action, zoom in or zoom out of the picture for more precise editing. You will be able to fit the screen and look at the actual size and compare the the be before picture and the after picture. So now going to the very right side of your screen, you find all of the different tools. The tools are very simple. You have the color effects, the grayscale, the pan, and the show. So going on to the color, you will be able to color in with your brush. You will be able to change the diameter. You will be able to color in what you really want to stand out. So right here, I'm going to go ahead and color this flower in. Let me go ahead and zoom in. And let me go ahead and color this one flower. Once you are done coloring the part of the image that you really want to stand out, you could go ahead and change the brightness. Let's change it to right about there, the contrast of the colors. The blur, but I doubt you want to blur the image that you are trying to do focus on the saturation so let's keep it to right about there the hue the hue if you barely move it this thing will go crazy so we'll just keep it to a light level right there as well as the exposure so once you are done you of course want to also edit the grayscale which is the background on the grayscale you will be able to enable the blur as you can see the background is blurring a bit you could blur the whole thing or blur just a bit I think right there would be good you could also change it from grayscale to sepia or however you pronounce it. But I just want to keep it to grayscale. You have the amount of grayscale that you would want to allow. And 
let's keep it to right about there. So this application makes it really simple and easy to edit pictures while making them look really nice. So once you are done with that, you, you could change the, of course, the brightness and contrast of the grayscale also. So once you are done with your image, you could go ahead and save the photo or share it. So I'm going to go ahead and save it. I'm going to save it to my pictures. Um, I'll just save it to my desktop. And I'm going to save it as orange flower. Okay, so once I have it, I could also change the format and the quality to best. I'm going to go ahead and save it. And it's going to render the image really quick and it's going to automatically save it to my desktop. As you can see, this, Im this image looks really nice. So Color Splash Studio is a really nice application that lets you add easy and simple effects to your application, to your photo, excuse me, and making them look professional. So. This is the second app, and let's go ahead and go to the last application. Going on to the last and final application, we will be taking a look at FX Photo Studio Pro. Now, this application will cost $39.99 in the Mac App Store, so it is a bit pricey, but for all of you professional photographers out there, as well as just hobbyists that are really interested in photography like me this is a really really great application for you guys so once you open up the application you can simply drag and drop your image load an image or open up a recent image that you have used so once you op you put in an image you could go at the top and see a few preferences and a few tools and at the very top right you, you could change the effects you could crop the photo rotate the photo and adjust the photo but we'll be going to that in a bit and going at the very bottom you have over 172 filters Going at the very top, you have your favorites, which you can just star any certain filter that you like to just go to your favorites and access that certain filter quickly. And you can actually make your own presets. And going on to the all effects button, you could actually search up filters within a certain category. So this, once again, this application features over 172 different filters. So I mean, these uh, this application goes crazy with filters. And once you find a filter that you really like you can go ahead and click on it and you'll be able to change the amount of that certain filter to your liking so once you get a filter you could go ahead and apply it and it's gonna take a bit to load and once you are done you could add multiple layers of filters also so you you do not have to stop there and once you're done you could go ahead and crop your image rotate your image or of course go to to the adjust tool and edit your image even further you have the the tools to, for the exposure, the brightness, the saturation, the contrast, the temperature, and the hue, as well as the color balance. So, once again, you have some sliders that will help you edit your picture from exposure, once again, to brightness. So, you can edit your picture to your liking. And once you are done with your picture, you could go ahead and go on to more preferences here of, of the shadows and sharpen also. So, once you are done with your picture, you could go ahead and look at it full screen. You could compare the picture from the actual image to the to the before and after image. And you could go ahead and save the photo, share, or load the photo. So, let's go ahead and save the photo. As you can see, the picture looks really nice. So, you could go ahead and save the photo. It's going to apply the changes. So, you'll be able to save as whatever you want. I'm just going to go ahead and save it as test bird. So once you're done, you will be able to put it where you want it, the format of course, as well as what quality, and I'm just going to go ahead and save it to best. So as you can see guys, this application is a really, really nice application. It does cost $40 like I said, but it's a really nice application for all you photographers out there. And this application is called FX Photo Studio Pro, and it is my favorite out of all of these three applications. So thank you guys for watching, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to thumbs up this video, as well as subscribe if you are not already to be notified when i upload new videos and be sure guys to check out all of these applications there are some really nice photography applications so once again thank you guys for watching this has been ipad 2 apps reviewer and i will see you on the next video bye